Some flowers, like the ones you see here, are known as the giant of the flower world. But here in Kansas, we have a really special relationship with the sunflower. We're gonna take a look at a sunflower right now, and there are different parts. The stem right here on a sunflower is different than most flowers. It is thicker and it also has some hair on it, and it can grow between three and 15 feet tall, which is really cool. That's why it's called the giant. And then we have the inside right here, the center piece, and it is called a disc, and these are actually all different small flowers in there. How crazy is that? And then what's awesome is these out here are called the ray. They remind me of a ray of sunshine because they're so bright and pretty and yellow. This center disc here can either be yellow, like we see here, or it can be brown and purple, which is awesome. Sunflowers have many different uses. The stem and the leaves we see here are used for cattle feed. The inside disc right here can be used for things like sunflower oil, which is used in cooking that oil. It can be used to make alternative butters for people who have a nut allergy, which I think is kind of cool. Or it can be put in oil-based paints. And then the ray portion right here, this yellow can be used in different dyes like food or clothing dye. And the Native Americans have been using these long before we ever have, and they used them for so many different things, including medicinal purposes. When you see sunflowers growing, you may have heard that sunflowers follow the sun. That's technically true. Young sunflowers do follow the sun in a pattern called helotropism, but our mature sunflowers, like these, they stay fixed in an eastwardly position. In 1903, the sunflower became the official state flower for Kansas. But that's because we had seen many, many, many sunflowers growing on the side of the road, and that's the willow leaf sunflower. So they're a lot more wild, and they have a lot more greenery to them than these that we see here. During August and September, when those flowers naturally grow, Farmers will also plant rows and rows of these beautiful, huge sunflowers for everyone to enjoy. So if you're ever driving through Kansas in August or September, I just want you to stop and look at those gorgeous sunflowers.